So before you start cutting, what you wanna do is prep the hair. What I'm doing is saturating the parietal ridge area, making my part, making sure that the hair laid down. That way, when I cut into it, I could blend into that bulk at the top. So I'm also going to put my duck clips in just to make sure everything up top doesn't fall down. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bulk down so I can make it visible so I can set in my guidelines. So right now I'm using my Babyless Low Pros with the one guard and I'm just debulking the sides and I'm going to make sure that I don't go too high up. That way I can leave some bulk on the sides to blend into. So you don't wanna take off all of the bulk, you wanna leave some of that so the hair on top can have something to sit on. So now that I have the size debulked, I'm gonna take my low pro trimmers um, and I'm gonna set in my bald line. Now, notice how I'm setting it in. I'm not setting it in directly because I don't wanna leave a harsh guideline. Now, you can, um, it just all depends on um, if you're comfortable taking out the bald line and struggling. Like, I don't wanna struggle right now. So I'm, I'm using my um, trimmers in an upright position, basically going up on the blend, still maintaining that shape though. So going back with my low pro clippers, I'm gonna go with the lever open and go up about a half inch, making sure I keep that same width all the way around. So now I'm gonna go back with my one guard and I'm gonna use my comb to basically feed the hair into the teeth of the blade. I'm still going up about a half inch, making sure I keep that same width all the way around. So I'm not gonna be focusing on that bulk at the top because I wanna keep that. So I'm gonna work my way down by using my zero guard with the lever fully closed in a flick out motion, flicking out that middle line.
lever fully closed in a flick out motion, flick out that bottom line. Now, the way I do it, I like to use my corners the entire time. I don't like to use the full blade um, throughout this process because I just wanna take a little bit off at a time, all right? What I like to do is I like to start below the line, flick to the line, and I adjust my lever as I go up. So next I'm just gonna clip her over comb the top, basically blending the bottom half into the bulk that's on top. So I'm gonna go stick in my uh, comb at a 45 degree angle and basically knock off everything and just blend into it going upward. After I've done that, I'm gonna basically use my one guard to blend into the bulk that's on top, just kind of lightly uh, making sure everything blends. Um, and at the end of this is basically just doing some detail work, all right? Detailing is important. This is where I look in the mirror and just see uh, areas where I see bulk. And also, if I don't have a mirror or, or not around a mirror, I like to rest my eyes, come back to the blend, and just do some detail work, make sure everything nice and clean and neat. So next, I'm gonna take out my duck clips, saturate my client's hair with water, and just take off an inch on the top. He doesn't really want too much off of the top. And also, I'm gonna be doing some point cutting just to add some texture. Next, I'm just gonna blow dry in style to my client's liking.
some texture powder to add some volume to my client's hair and just to make it uh, stiff. Listen, let me tell you why they call me 360. When they sit in my chair, I spin them in a full 360, and they come out looking like... Damn, Daniel. Back at it again with the white man. You, too, this is the cut. And if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also, Hustle Dreams Production, that's my brother. He does all my beats. His YouTube channel will be linked in the description below. Make sure you guys go give him a follow. Also, if you want to know where you find any tools, you've seen in this video links will be in the description below otherwise you guys can follow me on instagram and tiktok my tiktok is official 360 jeezy and my instagram is 360 jeezy but it's your boy 360 jeezy and i'm out of here